Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog and this time it's from my in-laws home where my parents-in-laws, my youngest brother-in-law and family is living presently. It's our ancestral home filled with memories of days we spent or I spent after my marriage. So for me being here is something very nostalgic. Now I had mentioned this earlier too, my mother-in-law or our mother-in-law is not someone who waits for her daughter-in-laws to start cooking early in the morning. We too wake up early, but mom wakes up way more earlier than us. Hence, she starts cooking breakfast before we enter and she has never complained about it. Normally, mom plans the menu for that day. She definitely takes our opinion too, but we are always happy with the menu as mom doesn't fail to impress. Morning, it's usually rice rotis when all gather and this day it was the same with boiled egg curry. I have done lots of egg curry recipe videos, so not going in detail, just giving a glimpse. Mom had already started to roast grated coconut with shallots. I added the rest of the spice mix which included red chilli powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder, black pepper powder and garam masala powder. Having a hot black tea and some snack is always very refreshing in the morning. My co-sister Sabina was also with us in the kitchen. She is carrying and also in her rest period as per her gynec. So she was actually helping us in the kitchen apart from the major works. I have prepared boiled egg curry as well as scrambled. We normally have either one of these types with rice rotis in the morning for breakfast. Eggs were already boiled in the pressure cooker. Meanwhile, Sabina was cooking rotis and I started for the curry preparation. That's some onion being sauteed in hot coconut oil. You need to cook eggs in a pressure cooker for just one whistle. A tip from my mother-in-law, remove the hot water in it and add some water that's cold or at room temperature. Close the pressure cooker and just simply waggle the cooker with bit of force. And the eggshells could be easily removed. Some of the shells would have been completely out already. So now it's complete. I halved each egg. To the sauteed onion and tomato, adding the ground paste of coconut. To make it extra creamy, you could add some soaked cashews while grinding the coconut. Once the curry boils, add the egg pieces. Let it boil for another minute and the curry is ready. This is a very basic egg curry that anyone could prepare easily. We have the front yard, the sides and the back of the house that gets very much untidy with all the leaves falling off from the trees. Mom says even if we sweep in the morning, by the evening time, it would be the same with leaves all around. This is what I love the best in cleaning. I don't know if it's the same for all. Rather than cleaning inside, I love to sweep outside, hearing the birds singing, getting fresh air and some fresh smell of nature because we do have lots of trees around.
trees actually provide shade from the sun but the drawback of having so many trees is the untidiness of the courtyard definitely after cleaning anyone would feel hungry and we were no less and by that time rihan and arman woke up The menu for lunch was vegetable biryani and kadai chicken. It's my mother-in-law's recipe and I don't have a recipe done to. We three, mom, me and Sabina, started the lunch preparation few minutes after our breakfast. For vegetable biryani, we used green peas, beans, carrot, cauliflower and such. For kadai chicken, we need to fry chicken pieces. We have used two kilo chicken pieces, so for the marination, you'll need around one teaspoon ginger paste, one tablespoon garlic paste, one teaspoon turmeric powder, one tablespoon red chili powder, salt, and around three or four tablespoons of vinegar. Mix well. Add the chicken pieces and marinate for around 15 to 20 minutes. for getting that beautiful colors of the vegetables in the biryani mom cooked the vegetables in the beginning for few minutes cauliflower was already put in a mix of hot water and turmeric powder and now along with the other vegetables you need to cook just for 2-3 minutes and then switch off the flame heat some oil for frying the chicken pieces in the same oil the rest of the preparation is done so don't add too much oil that you will have to take out some The flavors of the chicken will be there in the oil so don't let it get wasted. Chicken pieces needn't be very crispy. Fry on medium heat till it's just cooked. This is so cashews that you'll have to make a paste for the kadai chicken. After all the chicken pieces are done, time to prepare the rest. To the same oil, add onion. For 2 kg chicken, you will need 4 medium sized onion that's sliced. Saute well till it's really soft before adding the next ingredients. Don't forget to give a mix in between. We sometimes tend to add the other ingredients before the onion is sauteed well and that gives a raw or a sweet taste of the onion while having the dish. Always cook the onion till it's soft and changes the color a bit. To the onion add 1 teaspoon ginger paste and 1 tablespoon garlic paste. And here again let the raw smell go. To the kadai chicken you need to add onion that's chopped in large pieces and even capsicum the same size. In another pan heat some oil and cook that separate. Cook for just 3 or 4 minutes and you can take them off. They retain the color and you can add it at the end. Over here to the onion mix add 4 medium sized tomatoes that's thinly sliced. add some salt once the tomatoes have become soft add a tablespoon of crushed green chilies and mix well let it cook for 2 minutes
that's chicken masala you can use any brand we have used eastern brand around 2 heap tablespoons then goes black pepper powder around 1 and 1/2 teaspoon now time to add the chicken that was fried earlier mix really well till all the pieces are well blended in the masala it might take only couple of minutes add some warm water say around 1 cup add crushed kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves along with that add the cashew paste and some water mix for some time and then goes the capsicum and onion finally 2 spoons of soy sauce and some red chili sauce keep on low flame and cook for just 2 minutes and then you can switch off the flame vegetable biryani is almost same like preparing any biryani heat some oil and saute onion then goes ginger garlic and green chili paste mix well cover and let it cook till the raw smell goes sliced tomatoes add some salt When onion and tomatoes have changed the color to a darker shade, you need to add the spice powders. That's turmeric powder, garam masala powder, and black pepper powder. Mix well. There was some stock left after cooking the vegetables, so adding it to the pot. mix well and here i have added curd instead of this you can add thick coconut milk add some salt and some vinegar add the vegetables and give a mix you don't have to cook the vegetables now it would be done well kept on them so right now switch off the flame we didn't have coriander leaves which we normally buy from the market hence using this different type which has the same smell of coriander leaves also known as mexican coriander or culantro it has quite a strong smell so don't add too much if you're using this mix well and it's time to layer the rice on top this is cooked rice we normally use for biryani you may use basmati rice After layering some rice, pour over 2-3 tablespoons of ghee and sprinkle some garam masala powder. Finally, on top, add fried onion, cashews and raisins. Cover, place on low heat till the steam comes through the rice. After any major cooking there would be lots of cleaning left and we jointly do it having conversations in between and that actually eases the work 
sometimes it's really boring when we are alone in the kitchen. We normally eat ghee rice and kadai chicken or vegetable biryani with kadai chicken for weddings and this recipe tastes exactly the same. My mother-in-law got the recipe from a lady who is a wife of a chef who cooks at weddings. And that's how mom got the recipe and this tastes exactly like wedding kadai chicken. So please don't forget to try this out, it's really delicious. You can have the same with plain rice, naan, paratas or even rotis. Nothing is more satisfying than having a dessert or ice cream after food. We all had a good nap after the delicious lunch meal and woke up to a refreshing tea. So that ends for today's video and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. If so, do give a thumbs up so that I know. Please try the recipes shared and I shall wait for your feedback. Stay safe everyone. See you with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.